Hey. Thought it'd be fun to film a little walk and talk for everybody while I am heading to my session here today at the Post Ranch on my birthday. So you see the work is pretty intense, but, but uh, it's a beautiful place to work and it's a waka. A waka is a place where the veil between the worlds is very thin. This has been known to the Native Americans of this area for as long as anyone knows as the window between the worlds where the spirits travel after they pass. And um, so it's amazing to have this village. This was the village that I had, <laughs> in passing, mentioned that I would love to be a shaman sitting in a hut in a, in a village somewhere in this kind of place, like Esalen, this sort of sacred area, and uh, didn't even know Post Ranch Inn existed at the time, but through a series of synchronistic events and showing up and saying yes. Um, I was asked to come do my shaman sessions here, so I sit in this yurt or go to the guest rooms <laughs> at this five-star global village and, uh, and do my work and uh, hopefully rock people's worlds, change things. In fact, I know, I know it's, I know I have. I know the work has, let's say. It's not really me, right? It's the lineage, and that's the thing about working with wakas, is that... <clears throat> The, uh, <laughs> to have access to the, to, the, to the great and powerful beings and healers and medicine people on the other side is really the key. It's really what makes the work happen. It's not us, not me. I am a mediator of souls between the worlds. At best, a clear enough conduit to be able to facilitate the work and to help people understand what's happening, give them some context, some integration work and homework to do. And, uh, but the, the great beings that we call on and that we build our altars for, that we work with, they really show up. They really make these miracles happen. So it's amazing. I, I posted something earlier with MZ about the power of relationships with these great beings and how important they are. They're everything. So I would encourage everybody to strengthen their relationship with the great beings, either from your religion, which holds most of them in one way or the other, or your spiritual traditions or your native indigenous traditions. All of them are extremely powerful. And so that's my walk and talk message <laughs> here today on my birthday where I'm privileged and honored to do this work and obviously in this amazingly beautiful place. So thank you so much everybody for your birthday wishes as well. It's very humbling and very moving. I don't know really if uh, I'm worthy of them, but um, I do continue to do the best I can. All right. Bye.